This lesson is about the opportunity stages, or we call it maybe your pipeline stages. Where can you find this one? It's, you go to admin, and we go to the sales and opportunity section, we expand that section, and then there's here the opportunity stages. An opportunity has different kind of stages, kind of similar as what you do also with the ticketing system. Uh, and by defining correct stages, uh, you can define them correctly in what stage your pipeline is or what your deal is or your opportunity is, how Autodesk calls it. By default, these are the ones are uh, coming from the, from the system. It works okay. Uh, at least if you haven't done anything with any pipeline or using any, uh, any opportunities to, to uh, monitor and manage, then of course this is already a great start. Uh, they all have the same color as they haven't really defined it in the same icon. Basically you can click on edit and then you have the ability to click on the on the yeah is it the icon create a new icon like a nice one if you start a new lead I would say hey different color and you can change the description and there's a default for lost opportunities and a default for one opportunities my setting is basically default for one opportunity so it would only be the stage five closed because when you lose an opportunity it should remain in the status where it where it was let's say you have a opportunity that never got any further than stage two qualification if it's stuck there and you lose it for whatever reason uh, the reasons you can put in when you lose the opportunity but uh, don't make it set as default leave it in the stage qualification Let's say a year later that the person comes back and you want to kind of review why did you lose that uh, that deal and in what state it was left then you still have that information if you would say set a default for the lost opportunities then it would always go to that state and you kind of lose that that information on where you lost the previous deal the default for one opportunities would basically be your stage five closed so we can get there edit because that one is, uh, is a nice uh, nice color too oh we'll put another color Say so that's a, that's an A deal because that's done, and this one we make it the default for one opportunity. So when you win an opportunity, it always goes to stage five closed. Basically, when you receive the signed contract and the check, um, there could be a couple of more opportunities uh, states in there. You can define it how you want it. Uh, what would be a good one, for example, is what we did is that let's say you're still working on a deal, but you have to get with a, with a vendor or you have to get with a uh, with a with a client needs to get back with more information. You can basically define them and you can say, you know what, I'm going to call it, I'm going to change all those stages and I'm going to say stage three. I'm going to say pending vendor. Sometimes you need to waiting for your supplier to provide a quote. There, yeah, and then you can easily drag it in here to put it in the in the right sequence and to change it. Now you can modify stage three to four and five, how many uh, stages you want. I would suggest first create the stages that you would all like to to have and define. Again, don't put too much in there because then it's going to be too cumbersome. Same kind of with the ticketing system. Don't put too many stages in there, but define it in a way where you can really control it. Um, could also be that you maybe have one person in your organization that's always uh, doing your quotes. Maybe that's a, that's a kind of a calculation department or a coding department. You can also put it over there. That means that uh, that your sales are trying to get new leads and you're trying to maintain it, but that way you know exactly which person has it. Of course, there's also a way if that's only one person that you have an opportunity and you assign it to the person. So there's different ways to accomplish the same thing. But this is for the stages to make sure that in your pipeline, uh, that you can really define okay where is your uh, where is your deal pending and then on the dashboards we can make nice widgets and can control okay where is the where's all the the deals where can we work on which one we should follow up on and from there you can really manage and try to get more sales in um in this case I, I created a new one pending vendor like i said uh, a waiting customer would be one maybe pending operations if you have a project proposal which is going to be done in the next uh, next lesson uh, you're waiting for your, uh, your your service department or your engineering department to calculate the pricing based on a project proposal. You can create a separate status for that one so you always know exactly where it is. I think that's all for now on the opportunity stages. Let me know if you have any questions by going to our Facebook group.